there is an essential harmony or essential relationship deep within the matter of the universe. Everything exists in relation to everything else. This is part of the new consciousness that we are being invited to wake up to, the interbeing of the universe. David Bohm, the new physicist, spoke of life as undivided wholeness in flowing movement. He saw life as being like a single flow, a river, in which differentiations emerge and are to be cherished as unique and then dissolve back into the flow, the constituent parts to emerge again further down the flow. How do we remember this essential unity of life that is deeper than the glorious multiplicity of differentiations of which we are a part? A number of years ago I met a Jewish man from New Jersey, New Jersey I should say, and we were speaking about most important moments in our lives. And he recounted to me a most important moment from his boyhood. He had grown up in a Hasidic community in New York City, and it was his practice every summer to go to a camp for Jewish boys just outside the city. And the day that he was recounting for me was a day when they were told that the rabbi of their community was just down the river from the camp and that he wanted to see the boys. He was much loved rabbi, so the boys rushed down the river bank to find the Rebbe, and when they found him, he was standing in the river, rocking, in mantric motion, a motion that's sometimes referred to in the Jewish tradition as one-pointed concentration looking to the heart of the moment, because that is where God is, at the heart of this moment, at the heart of every moment. So the boys joined the Rebbe in the river, and he said just one thing to them. He said, the water that we see flowing past us now will never flow past us again. He then returned back into mantric rocking motion, looking to the heart of the moment. The boys joined the Rebbe in the river and they too began to rock in prayer. It's a beautiful picture to think of these boys rocking in prayer with the Rabbi in the river. But the combination of the flowing water and the rocking movement put the boy to sleep, and when he woke up, all of the other boys were away, but the Rebbe was holding him with one arm, continuing to rock in prayer. And this time the Rabbi didn't say anything to him, but he simply looked into his face and smiled. This boy, now a man, remembers that moment. The rabbi's face was like an icon into the countenance of God. In the face of the rabbi, the boy saw the one from whom we and all things come. An essential part of the pathway towards new beginnings in our world are practices, practices that we can pursue in solitude but also together practices in which we keep remembering the oneness at the heart of all life. We are being invited to glimpse deep into the heart of every moment. This is part of the soul force for change and transformation in our world, to remember the oneness from whom we have come.